Hey everyone, I am here with our Fun With Folios number two. Um, it's been really fun making these. You'll notice I'm a little slower because I'm creating all of them for the first time. But they're coming together beautifully and I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope you are too. Um, let's go ahead and get started. We have this flap piece um, and I did get a scoring table card thingy so I can really make those nice and crisp and I've really enjoyed that. So if it's something you're interested in, I'll just link the one I got below. There's tons out there, um, but I really have enjoyed that and I don't know why it took me so long, but so I'm just putting together the main part of the folio. I did everything on lightweight cardstock, printed, inked, and you'll notice on this one, this flower is upside down. On yours, it will be right side up. When I created it and printed everything, I goofed up and I thought, oh, I don't wanna waste the paper. So I just went ahead and went with it. Oh, I did that glue on the wrong side too. Oh golly, that's okay. I will correct it. It's going on this side and it won't matter because when I finish it, I'm covering that part up anyway. So this is gonna come right here on the inside. The other one you'll notice I did on the outside. There we go. I just don't wanna squish that down because I don't wanna glue it to it. <laughs> that rhymed. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and put this piece in right now. So since we have that glue right there, but I did create this square. So it's gonna come right in here and it is actually going to become its own little pocket. So I'm, Let's see which direction. I think every direction is beautiful. Let's do that. So I'm just going to glue on these three sides. And you can just do a nice straight line. I just did that because I had that anyway. And then I'm going to come and place that so you're not going to see that tab anymore but I'm gonna leave enough room so everything folds really nice. There's plenty of room for that. All right. So there's our main piece. And in there goes this cute little card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little eyelet in there this time. Embellish this one a little bit for you. Um, obviously, you can embellish however you want. The cool thing about these is that it's gonna be beautiful from both, like all sides. So you can really use this as like a standalone card for somebody if you want, or you can use it as a really awesome tuck in your journal. Um, so anyway, I like that option. It's fun that you could use it as like a card because who wouldn't love to get that? I would. All right, so I just did some sorry silk ribbon up top, but now this is its own little pocket and I didn't cut any reminder like half circles or anything and you'll see why. It's because I have this fun pocket that's gonna go right here. This is one single piece. Um, and when I printed everything, there's a page called backing and I printed that on everything. Um, just because now all of my tags have this really beautiful light neutrally thing that you can either journal on or add pictures to or whatever. Um, but I also noticed that I slightly folded these just barely just so I could get that ink how I wanted. Um, and it'll be nice for when I glue because I'm gonna glue very thin glue strips along the top, that back side Ugh, I feel so jittery. It's because I'm holding, I need to set it down, but that's okay. That one, and then it's awesome because when you fold it, now I have exactly my glue line in place. And I'm gonna create these three long skinny pockets. So that'll come right here. And I'm just gonna, oh, I got a little glue on my tag. I'm just gonna carefully glue that down on all of those seams. And then I have these three really fun little skinny tags that we can go ahead and 
just glue down. It doesn't matter in, in any particular order. Just kind of have done this for fun and I've numbered them. I better put it on here. That'd probably be better, huh? Either way. So there is number one. So for me, I'm gonna put that up in this little skinny pocket up top. Just gotta get it open that first time. It's always a little trickier. And then this will just be a fun little journal page right there with some cute little tabby tags. All right. And I left some room for journaling. If you don't want, you can just cover those up and do something else. But I like to leave journaling space in my journals of all things. <laughs> all right, so that piece is finished. All right, now this, the back side of this flap, I love this. I love this little page. I might want some lace on there, wouldn't that be fun? Do I like it? Maybe skinnier. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Before I finish that one, I'm gonna just do a little strip of lace. And I will just trim that down after it dries. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> it doesn't add too much bulk, but it adds just a little something else to it, you know. All right, so let's decorate this flap right here. Um, <laughs> I love this. I have this pocket and another cute little tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Get us a little eyelet in there. Nothing too fancy. I'll probably just do a little bit of sorry silk ribbon again, but I'll do that off camera so you guys don't have to watch. All right. Um, this is a pocket. So this cute little pocket is going right here on this tab. So just those three sides, the sides and the bottom, just to create that pocket. You know the drill. And I'm gonna put that in right there. I kind of centered it. You can scoot it down or whatever you want. All right, <clears throat> sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna create this cute little heart into its own little pocket. But we wanna make sure that top is nice and open. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue right here, right here and just a tiny bit down these sides and that bottom. And I'm gonna scoot it a little bit lower on this card just because when the things stick out, we don't want them. Coming out the top of the whole thing, so. All right, we can put our cute tag in there. I'm back, I don't know where I left off. I had to leave because our heater broke, our furnace broke, and the repairmen came, and they are my heroes. I was so happy. So now we have a heat. We have a hot house again. I'm so happy. Okay, anyway. Oh, I know where I was. We are putting this little pocket on. But this one is going to hold this cute little quote tag, and it's going to come in from this direction. So I'm going to glue the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna put a little dab up here and here and right here. Just leave that nice and open. And then that will come right there and just center it. Or not, you don't have to. That'd be fun either way. And then this little tag is going to, I should let it dry. I'll let it dry before I stick that in. No, I won't, I'm gonna do it. All right, that's gonna go in right there. All right, and then these two little guys, you could put a cute little bit of lace up here or something if you wanted. I'm just gonna leave them for now. <clears throat> and they're gonna go here and here. Now I have this cute little word and I'm not sure. Oh, I think I like it down in the corner. You know what? I think I want it on my tag. I'm gonna put it on my tag, I like that. So that's gonna go right there.
or wherever you want it. All right, so now we have this cute little tag. Oh, I didn't move my word, there we go. All right, now that will be the back of the folio. So that is where our last one is going to go, right here. And we'll hide that, even though, wow, that lined up. Serendipity, baby. But I do in the kit have this extra square that you can put on um, just to hide these or not, if that doesn't bug you. Oh, I still didn't get my new glue. Let me grab a glue stick. Don't worry, I have a bunch. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna make sure to get near the edges just cause I don't want that popping up at all. Ugh, I love this one. I, I think that's what it is that I love about this is like just making secret little hiding spots. <laughs> I do that with my chocolate too. So, <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. So we have that down. Now there's this beautiful little scallop pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on the bottom and the two sides. And I thought, you know, you could do a pocket on this side if you wanted, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it traditionally. But I thought, you know, that would be kind of fun and kind of different. And you can decide once you see what goes in it. I think just for fun, this is some avocado dyed cotton lace. It's just fun, but it matches well with these colors. So I, I think I want to do it. Yep. It goes with that little word tag very well also. So I'm going to put some of this glue down because it is fabric. This will really help it stick a little bit better. All right. And then I have this love sign, which you could use again on the front if you wanted to do what we did with the last one. Let me just show you real quick. So you could put it here and just have it again be a little clasp, but I want it on the back. I'm gonna keep the front simple this time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that bad boy. I think I just want it. Oh, okay. Yep, I think I want it over on the right side. You could go center. It looks good either way. All right, and in that pocket, I have these two darling, I love, I love little coin envelopes. So just these two little envelopes that I have created. Um, this comes over on this side. I've inked the whole thing. So I'm just gonna need a tiny bead of glue along one of those, because I don't want it going into the other side. And then, you could even use a glue stick for that. Then this little guy comes here. So it looks just like those cute little coin envelopes. And then we have these really cute little journaling cards for each of them. So that's gonna go right in there. And, oh, I was gonna tell you, on this pattern, I actually trimmed this down right through here just a little bit more so that I can kind of reach the card a little bit better. But you can open it like that anyway and reach it, so it's not a big deal, but just so you know that I did do that. And we have one little cute envelope. And then here's our other tiny little envelope. <clears throat> Same process. Oh, you guys, it's wonderful having a furnace. <laughs> I can feel my toes finally thawing out after three days. The things that we take for granted, right? <laughs> All right, here is a tiny, so this one's a little bit smaller. I just thought it would be fun to have the contrast there. So a tiny journaling card and a little flap, and that's gonna go right there. All right, so 
I decided I wanted to leave this really simple this time. You can add a button and some twine to wrap around, but for this one, I thought it would just be fun just to tie, tie it off with some ribbon. So we're gonna see some really awesome bow tying skills today. There we go. And you're gonna see the back of that tag there sticking out, but it all kind of just coordinates. So that's the finished, what it will look like if you were to give it to somebody. And you could even use this as the front if you wanted, um, just cause it's so beautiful. Um, but they would open that by just untying the ribbon. And then you have this cute little pocket here with two tiny tags and this beautiful quote and this tag as well and then that flips open and you have these three with a couple of spaces to write and then on the very back you have these two tiny envelopes and some cute signage anyway so fun so much fun i'm loving these little folios um just just fun to work with so anyway I hope you enjoy and I hope you're having a beautiful day and we will talk to you later. Bye.